guys. It is the second morning, third day. Scott and I just made more breakfast. We have heart attack fried eggs, baked potato with cheese and bacon bits, bacon bits that were made on, on the fire. Good, pretty good. No, pretty much with my plate, there we go. <laughs> Torso. Mine's so hot, I need to take off more layers. Yeah, I know, me too. Um, yeah, but today we are thinking about going to either fish or arch. Like, so we, we could do some archery, we could do some fishing, we could drive around, we could go get more water because we're almost out of water and uh, charge our batteries in the car while we're driving. I don't know, just go on another amazing hike. We'll probably do as much of that as we can today because this is our last full day. We doing pancakes too, dude. Man, isn't your hand hot? A little bit. We've got our walking sticks, we've got our bow, we've got fishing rods. I have an Elsa fishing rod. Really good job uh, carving this. I tried. I, I feel like I failed. <laughs> I didn't really carve much of the end. I focused a lot on what we ended up covering. You're amazing. So we found the closest spot to our camp is a little stream and it attaches to the big lake. Since this is a mountain stream, do you want to take this water and boil it tonight and make our nighttime tea with it? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that little water glider thing. Little cutie pie. Wow. You shall not pass. Can you guys see this like indent in the forest floor? Well, there's like basically the shape of a body right there. And I just think it's so crazy because it's like you cannot ever make me assume that's not a dead body buried there. You know? Hi, Scott. We spotted an abandoned shack, but we're avoiding it just in case there's a homeless person in there. And I'm standing on a really cool old tree trying to use our surroundings to locate the lake. This is Smith Mountain Lake. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a dip right here. And then going right down that way, it almost looks like a, a nature-made sewer. <laughs> like, it's definitely a flow of water that has taken that path. So we're gonna follow it. You guys want a flash? I will. <laughs> we're gonna shine a light in the hole. Oh <laughs> my gosh. I'll stand That's here with funny. a stick. Uh, I'm so scared. I'm not doing it. It's not focusing on you. Don't think it's focused. Hold on. No. I think it's did it focus finally? Yeah. So I grew up near the Potomac River in Virginia. We are still in Virginia, and I swear, this is the prettiest Virginian water I've ever seen. The rivers like Chesapeake and Potomac are like really like murky and muddy and polluted and gross. And this is just like mountain water. It's like clean. It's so pretty. Oh. I wish I could just like, I think there'll be a bigger spot of lake that might have a better picture of it. I know, but I wish I, like the camera could see how pretty this water looks to me. There's just this like aqua sheen under it that's never seen yeah. here. It really does. It has like, you can see the rocks. It's like but dark the, the soft mineral deposit in the water is so crystalline and pure compared to what we see on our coast but like this is filtered mountain water like this t started at the top of a mountain it's never touched the ocean since it rained that, 
Appalachian. I love the way you say Appalachian Mountains. Scott's like holding on to my to my jacket because like he's so scared I'm gonna fall in. Where's my stick? Stick. So this stick is awesome because there's this part of it and then I put my pinky right over this little nub so it doesn't slip. Guys, this is just so ridiculous. So I keep seeing things like this and I just don't understand just the what the hell happened here? In the same way. So either a tornado only blew down like two or three trees, or the magic man over there. Somewhere. There's a magic man over there for sure. Because okay. there's it just it's like something drops here and then just rolled down this whole hill. Explosion like a yeah. So like that or yeah like like in that movie like that. in Carrie or like the new one on Netflix. I um, don't like I'm not okay with this. Yeah, I, it's just such a hard name, um, but like as if someone with like telekinesis was standing at the end there and just went Whoa! and just like knocked down trees because I also keep on seeing this pattern in the woods. So there's always two trees that are the same type of tree but different trees falling, crisscrossing each other like a perfect X in a clearing. So it's like, by I mean, there's, there's, nothing. there's nothing out here. There's like a couple little cabins. And like yeah, but it's like, what could have done that? And why is it an X marks the spot in the middle of a clearing? Aliens. 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 That, thanks for coming to our TED talk. Could this have been a landslide? Like, oh my God, look at this. This looks like a sea anemone or like some kind of fish egg. But it's, it's fungi. I freaking love, like, m fungi. It's one of my favorite things ever. I love finding mushrooms in nature and just pretty fungi. Also, this fallen tree is interesting because look at how red the Virginian clay in our soil is. That X is still right there. Like, this whole thing kept going. It... Whatever happened, it just kept falling. <laughs> That's what I would think natural wheat would look like. Yeah. Yeah, like a farmer okay. picking his teeth with it or whatever. Yeah, it's just hay. Look at that decomposed tree that's finally made its soil phase happen. Like, that's crazy. Every time it gets wet, it gets mushier. Everything is so rich in the soil. I love it. I'm obsessed with this. This is like the right move. There are four trees falling right here. I wonder what this looks like on the other side. Like if I was on the other side of this, I'd be like, what the hell? Ridiculously beautiful. It's almost like I feel like I'm in Washington state, but I feel like over there, it's even cleaner. There's like bigger trees out there. These are skinny trees compared. I just walked through a spider web. I didn't even think to look for that bird. Oh! Yeah, carpal, you can do that. It's a killed beaver that was gonna chew down that tree. Wait, tell me the beginning of the story again. Oh, silly. Okay, so we found a really old beaver tree. Scott just made up an entire backstory of the life and death of this beaver, but unfortunately I didn't get a whole bunch of it caught on camera. That's old. And you see its little teeth marrow. That's not like an axe or something. Like these are like little... Yeah, I think that's super cute. Also, we're at a bigger part of the lake now. And see, that doesn't answer this. I was about to say, those might have been beavers, but this is way different than what we saw. Over there. I know. It's way Look at all this moss. I love it. Forest carpet. If I could have a really comfortable and affordable, if there was an option for like a carpet that mimics the look of moss, I would so do it. I think we're just like so in awe at how non-organic nature can look sometimes. Look at that slate right in between the tree hills. Yeah, up. that's really cool. It's like someone placed it there. Yeah. And I also love that there's just rocks at the edge of all of this. Like, I'm just like, we're on a mountain. Also, Scott and I just found out that we're off work um, for 30 days. 
In Virginia, yeah. So all non-essential businesses. So that includes restaurants and salons, which he works at a restaurant. I work at a salon. So we are off for a whole month, literally starting now. Good thing we saved, and we're just going to camp, which isn't very expensive. Yep. All righty, boo. Lego. Lego my ego. We found a place to cross. We're off the path. We're looking for a place to fish. We're probably gonna throw it all back. Unsuccessful fishing. I was scared about hurting a fish anyways. That would be a little sad. There would have been a lot of awesomeness in eating a fish we caught though. So this we're thinking is usually waterfall but it's dry because it, we're just approaching spring. Cool. Oh it's so close. Why is it so close? Oh, that's so much worse. Maybe we could cut up. So we are going through all of our food that was to be prepared. And since it's our last night here, we decided we're just gonna like cook a whole bunch of it and have a buffet just snack all night and then we'll be ready to go in the morning. This is one of the amazing bell peppers stuffed with all kinds of things. Oh yeah. So oh, this is it. We spent three days and three nights camping. We are ready to go home. I have a zit on my nose. And I don't feel like showing up close because this is a better camera than my phone. But stay epic everyone. Bye. <laughs>